Hello and welcome everyone to a brand new episode of Mi 10 Photography Masterclass. In the previous episode, we talked about the Pro Video Mode on Mi 10 and today we are going to touch upon Pro Photo Mode on the Mi 10. The automatic mode on modern day smartphone cameras works flawlessly. But there are certain lighting conditions in which if you get the control over shutter speed and ISO, you can make better use of the same smartphone camera that you have. So let's get this masterclass started. With the Mi 10, you get a power packed pro photo mode, also known as manual mode. And we have clubbed this with a large sensor. The Mi 10 comes with a 108 MP quad camera setup. You can access the 108 MP camera by going into the 108 MP mode, or you can trigger the same by going into the pro photo mode. Earlier this year, we took Mi 10 to Shimla to try out the camera, and the results were stunning. Here are some of the samples from the 108 MP mode. The implementation of night mode on Mi 10 is our finest implementations so far. In the absence of sufficient light, the camera struggles to maintain correct exposure, giving rise to noise in an image. On the Mi 10, we solve this issue to a great extent by making use of the incredible light gathering capability of the large sensor clubbed with computational photography. You can trigger the night mode by moving out of the pro mode and selecting the night mode option. Other than the 108 MP camera, you can select the other cameras through the pro mode. You can switch between different lenses to pick and choose the one that works well for you. Another great feature and my personal favorite from the DSLRs and professional cameras is the ability to shoot in RAW mode. On the Mi 10, it's fairly easy to trigger this through the manual mode. The camera sensor outputs pixel level information which when decoded constitutes an image onto the screen. RAW and JPEG are two of these file formats that hold such information. If you're someone who's not too much into editing, JPEG would work just fine. But if you're shooting in harsh lighting conditions and want to edit your images well, RAW is just the thing that you're looking for. JPEG is a file format that balances between maintaining good image quality and also limiting file sizes. In order to maintain this balance, JPEG consciously loses on some of the dynamic range information which you would have otherwise found at a sensor level. Shooting in RAW solves this problem. When you shoot in the RAW mode, the image is not passed through JPEG compression. There's much more information in RAW images and all you need to do is find the right software to extract that information. Making use of these softwares, you can edit your RAW images without losing out on any quality. Just like JPEG, HEIF is another compression method. HEIF images take up 50% lesser storage in comparison to JPEG images, but retain almost same level of detail in the image. If you're someone who shoots a lot of images, this could be your format of choice. Additionally, on the Mi 10, you get an option to choose metering modes. In photography, the metering mode refers to the way in which camera determines the exposure. On the Mi 10, you can choose from three different metering mode options. Center weighted. In this system, the meter concentrates on the central 60 to 80% of the scene to set the overall exposure. Frame average. In this metering mode, the camera uses light information from the entire scene and creates an average for the final exposure setting. Spot metering. The camera will measure only a very small area of the scene, 1 to 5% of the viewfinder area. The Mi 10 comes with a bundle of hardware and software features to give you a professional camera experience. So if you're a photography enthusiast like me, you should definitely consider this device. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one. Until then, keep shooting and keep learning. Xiaomi.